Hello, my name is Michael Prom, Applications Engineer for Applied Engineering. This video is going to show off the new folder and subassembly functionality in Inventor 2010. As you can see here, I have multiple um, fasteners inserted into this assembly. I can now use my create new folder command to put all these fasteners into one folder. What this is going to allow me to do is clean up my design tree so it makes it a lot easier to navigate around um, and find the components that I, can, I need. You can see when I open up and expand that folder, all my fasteners are still inside there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is open up this assembly and uh, I want to hide some of these features so I can get down to the roller, which I'm concerned about. Now if you ever have a really large assembly and need to find a certain component in the tree, you can actually right click on the component and say find in browser. It's going to move your browser to that component and also highlight it for you. As you can see I have this access roller with there's several components in here. So if you've ever had issues about wanting to have a sum assembly but now I want to go and create one separately, you can see under my components tab you can see there's a demote option and this demote option is going to grab all the components I have selected and turn those into a subassembly. So this is going to save you a lot of time um, building up subassemblies while you're in a main assembly and not worrying about doing that in another window and then coming back and reinserting that subassembly. I'm just selecting my templates that I want to be used for this subassembly and you can see once I have this selected that is going to prompt me and say, do you want to insert it? It's going to insert it directly and bring over all those constraints that I had individually added into my components. Now they're going to be added to my subassembly. So if I come in here and if I grab and drag this, you're going to notice that it's still going to move uh, just like it would have before. And so I don't lose any of my constraints. I'm not losing any time in that manner. Now I want to lighten this up a little bit more. So I'm going to open up this subassembly that I've just created and I'm going to do a new shrink wrap level of detail. So you might have noticed the shrink wrap off the labs uh, that was new last year. They've now built that functionality into the 2010 release. So under my drive level of detail, there's a new shrink wrap option. So this is going to turn that subassembly of nine components down to one. Again, this is very important because it allows me to work with larger assemblies and come in and turn off um, or turn down the level of detail to smaller components so if I'm not using this roller uh, there's no need to have all nine of the components open instead I can use that new derived shrink wrap level of detail and that's just going to allow me to make my large assemblies a lot smaller you can see even in here I took off the, the surface of that black piece and uh, made it smooth and then I can actually take this once I have it saved go back into my assembly and change my level of detail. So you can see I'll go back and forth between my master and my new derived assembly. I can do the same thing while I'm in my master assembly here. Just go and change it. And this is going to bring down the number of components that I have in my larger assembly, making it a lot easier to work with and also a lot faster. 